Hi, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to control the speed of a super fast brushless motor like this one, which can go up to 30,000 RPM using Raspberry Pi and right. Solo. The first reference is tracked, stopping. And the second reference is tracked. This motor you see here is a very low inductance motor and here in this tutorial we are planning to send digital commands from Raspberry Pi, the UART line of Raspberry Pi to Solo and controlling the speed of this motor for two different speeds in different directions. So to do that I've prepared this setup as you see the setup is very simple we just need to connect the wires of the UART line to Raspberry Pi and on the other side we have the motor. The wiring of the motor in sensorless mode it's not important you can connect to either of a b c inputs of solo the wires of your motor and then it will only affect the direction of the rotation of the motor but for now we have connected the motor in this way so as i said the wiring of the motor is not important the order of the wirings in sensorless and the next thing is this since you want to work in closed loop mode we need to make sure the piano switch num pin number five is down this tells us we are going to stay in closed loop mode the rest of the settings for the piano switch the potentiometers here and the analog input doesn't matter because we are gonna use the digital control of solo so the only pin that matters in piano switch is actually the pin number five to tell what modes of operation we want to work if you want to work in closed loop or open loop in this tutorial we're going to stay in closed loop and here I have the supply connected to solo. I don't need to do anything else. So now I'm going to go into the Raspberry Pi operating system. If I open the folder that I've downloaded from the GitHub source of the Python code of the Raspberry Pi written for solo, I see this. And if I go into the source code, I placed my code, the code that I'm going to run inside the source code to avoid compilation errors for different versions of Python. So now I'm going to open my example, which is this example. And as you see, initially the code starts by signing the device address, the solo address, which in my case, I'm using one solo. So I'm assigning device address of zero to solo, the solo I have, and I know it's correct. I set the boundary at the proper value. And then I set a bunch of other controllers and gains and settings like the switching frequency, I'm putting the switching frequency almost at the maximum, it's around 79 kilohertz because this motor has a very low inductance. It has two number of poles, the motor type, I'm selecting the ultra fast type and then I set the speed control gains that I found previously in motion terminal that works for me. So as you know, we have two controllers to tune. We have the torque controller, which is tuned automatically after the motor identification, which is done in the code. And then we have the speed control loop that we have to tune the parameters ourselves. Then I set the current limit to the maximum. And then when you go down into this code, you see there are two sections. There is the loop section that is the forever loop that runs forever. And then we have the setup section is actually the section that runs only one time and during the initialization. Initially, I start with the setup section by instantiating a solo object and then going forward by establishing the connection and communication between Raspberry Pi and Solo, and then assigning the parameters that I set initially above, identifying the motor to make sure also here the torque loop is automatically tuned because after identification, the torque loop or the current control loop is automatically tuned. You don't need to do anything else for that. Then I put the operation in sensorless mode because today I'm going to use sensorless. I'm not using any encoder or half sensors. And then I set the speed controller gains that I found previously in motion terminal that worked the best for me. So then after doing that, we go back to the loop and you see that in the loop, I have two speeds that I'm going to go after. I have 20,000 RPM initially in one direction. Then I change the direction. I go to 30,000 RPM. So now it's time to see what happens and how we can run the code. So now I need to turn on solo. So if I run the code, I see the communication is established, the motor identified, the first reference is tracked, stopping, and the second reference is tracked. So I stop the code and turn off the motor just to have a look at what actually happened. So here, you see that initially 
it started the motor started going after 20,000 rpm staying in there and then going back to zero speed stopping the motor and then this time going to 30,000 rpm and you see that the accuracy of the speed controlling is actually very good in sensorless mode 20,000 rpm and 30,000 rpm are tracked and that was it so it's so simple and easy to use you just need to set the parameters you can also use the motion terminal to have a better and higher resolution plotting if you want for your torque for your speed and other parameters and if you like this video please comment down below what you think we have to do for our next articles and our next video if you need any special article or special material that we have to cover please remind us and we will provide it for you also please subscribe to our channel so you can have weekly and monthly update about our progress thank you so much see you later